Hello, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and I'm at a weird... I have a weird dilemma going on, and I need your assistance. We're displaying this short video. I'm displaying this short video to everybody, because I would like my subscribers here on YouTube to give me their comments about whether they want to see any gameplay regards to the game I'm about to show you. The title, of course, is not shown on the video, because I want your opinion. Now, I may switch over temporarily to Twitch in order to be able to play this game, because it seems to have a pretty good following over there. But if there's a pretty good following over here, well, I'd like to, I'd like to know. Now, of course, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, that's quite all right. Please leave a comment anyway. So even if you don't want to subscribe, if you'd just like to see some gameplay from me on this game, let me know. So you're probably wondering, what game is it? Well, let's show you. That was me. There it is. The game of Palia. Now, I was a beta tester at one point for this game uh, a while ago, quite a while ago. And I have been playing this game quite a bit more lately that they've introduced it to Steam. So you see, it's just saying press any key because I can start it from Steam and it does it already has everything loaded up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to play this a little bit, talk a little bit about it. This is not a live stream, of course. This is just a recording. And we're going to see how it goes. And I'm watching the time on this. I don't want to take too long. Don't want to take up too much of your time watching this. So if this turns out to be a flop, <laughs> I'll know not to do this. But we'll see what happens. And if some of you come back and say, yeah, I'd like to see it, but it's much better if you do it over on Twitch. Yeah, tell me that. Or, no, 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 no. Stick to No Man's Sky, my friend. Don't do Palia. Okay, well, that's fine, too. We'll see how it goes. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get connected here. And you can see my character's name is Alon Paul, of course. <clears throat> Obviously. <clears throat> now, I have, just so you know, uh, this is a free-to-play game on Steam, on uh, Switch, on uh, PC. If you decide not to go with Steam, you can download it off, off of PC. Um... There are purchases in-game that you can do. I've made some purchases in-game. I don't usually do that on, on any basis. I did that purposely because I think that the developers, Singularity 6, deserve <clears throat> some feedback on that. You know, say, hey, I really enjoy the game and I'm going to put some money towards it because I think it's worth it. And that's why I did that. And, you know, I'll be getting some water occasionally while I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and hit the play. 11 people ahead of me, but that's okay. It's actually pretty quick. I remember when we were beta testing, there was literally thousands ahead of you to get into the game. It was hilarious. This is a very cartoonish looking game. If you played, um, there's a Disney version of a game similar to this. And if you've played that game before, you'll see that there's a lot of similarities. Even the Fort, it's got the Fortnite look to it as well, a little bit. But everybody pretty much has the same kind of uh, look to them. So I'm just going to go ahead and play. Okay, so I've reached the next requisite level of fishing, and I can go to him. He has a new recipe to available to improve the fishing rod I'm using. So that's fine. Okay, very good. All right, no problem. So, and I've got a garden over here that I've got crops on. So I'm going to just do my normal, ordinary play while I do this. Now let's see. I want to weed that. That's not ready. There we go. All right, what else? You look like you're just about getting there. That's nice. Aha! Okay, that's good. I was hoping that those would disappear, because now I can put a bush there. All right. Which gets me more money. So I'm not going to explain too much playing this as we speak. Wow, I got a lot more planting to do, huh? Okay. Let's see. Some tomatoes there. These are all tomato plants. There we go. All right. I got a blueberry bush. I got spicy pepper bushes. Um, I've got other things. I got rice. Actually, if you do an examine, it'll tell you what everything is while you hold the button down. So that's pretty cool. So we've got uh, uh, quality uh, things there. Uh, let's see. We've got some cho uh, bok choy, I believe. Obviously, blueberries. Um, got more rice, tomatoes, and some other things, obviously. Yeah, same, pretty much the same things. Is that one done? Nope, not quite. Okay. 
now that I pulled all that, you see that my bar at the top left, which is your focus, the purple bar, uh, you, you use up focus when you do certain tasks and certain things. So you have to boost that focus with foods that you cook. This is an entirely passive game. If no one's ever played this game at all, just so you know, there is no combat. There is nothing that can attack you. You cannot die in this game. You can fall from a great height or just tumble on the ground and stand right back up. It's, it's very, very simple. There's hunting. You can hunt animals. They respawn. You can go fishing. They respawn. Uh, obviously, you got crops. You can gather up bugs. It's all kinds of neat stuff. And I'm going to try to show you a whole thing of this in the short time that I'm doing this video. So I'm going to just rake out my garden real quick because i got to get these plots going and plant more stuff. I'm going to try to do that real quick here. Uh, let's see. Oof. All kinds of spots over here. I gotta get some bushes planted over here. And sometimes you find stuff when you're redoing your garden like this. Okay, good. I ah, found some flint. Yay! It's not always great things. There we go. Looks like we're done. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the stuff. I don't need much out of all these, so I'm going to be selling a lot of it because I need money. Uh, I got 8,000 gold, but uh, I need a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and sell some of the stuff off that I don't need. I do need these. I'm going to get rid of my peppers because I've already got a bunch of those. I got some fish I got to put away. We already have some tomato plant seeds that we've gathered, copper, flint. I'm going to put this in my main inventory real quick. And actually, I'm going to do that with the fish, too. Is that what I think it is? There we go. Just need one. And we'll put these away. Okay, good. I'll hang on to the fishing lure. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right. And let's put these in my main inventory. Okay. So we got some food that we're going to be selling. Uh, I was making seeds. Got some more bok choy seeds. That's good. Uh, let's see. Got some carrots. I've got cotton. I've got to plant, plant some cotton. Um, running a little low on that stuff. See, I got some, but I do want more. Let's go ahead and put the tomato seeds out. I do want another blueberry plant or two. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the peppers for now. I think I'm going to just plant blueberries this time. So let's see. I can put one here. That's number four. Let's go ahead and plant you. All right. And we're going to plant another one right here. There we go. And once that plant is done, I'm going to fill this in with one of the pepper tree ones. All right. So what do we got? We got cotton. I'm just going to go ahead and drop in some of the empty spots. One, two. And we'll put one back here. Three. Uh, let's get the tomato plants going. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put one right here. I want to keep those three open for later. I can put one there. Okay. Let's get some more of these tomato plants. Oh, let's, let's do carrots. Number two. There it is. All right. There we go. I want a bunch of carrots. How much do I have left? I've got four left. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and do all four. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do tomatoes or not, so... Okay, good. Let's put everything away real quick. Uh, let's see, it doesn't make a difference which of the chests you open. The more chests you have, the more inventory space you've got, of course. You see my uh, focus is starting to get low, but we need to water these plants. That's why they have these little curved bars on them. And this is a pretty good watering can I've got. It waters stuff around it, too. Okay, some of these already are watered. You can tell by the quality of the soil. The soil looks wet. Good. Blueberry plants. Blueberry plants are very, very good. Blueberry. Blueberry. Can't talk. Okay. Let's get over here. That one's good. Let's get all these. Oh, that 
Looks like our pepper trees, little pepper plants need some water too. There we go. Almost done. And last one. And I have one tree I need to water. So I'll get that done and out of the way. You make money at 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. every day. All right, it's not quite grown fully all the way yet, so. And there's the gong indicating it's nightfall. There's a lot of community play at this as well. All right, so I need food, so I'm going to make a, a little bit of food right now because I'm running low on my food. There we go. So I got 400 focus out of that. That's great, but I do need to make some more. So these are the recipes that I've learned along the way. This one gives me about 250 focus. Um, some of these do pretty good, 225, and then you get down to the lower ones. So some of these give you a lot more, like the spicy crab fried rice gives me 400 focus. Um, to make that, I should have all of the ingredients. I've got one soy sauce left. I should go buy some more. And one green onion. I'm going to have to find more. So let me go ahead and make this one. It's kind of an involved recipe. If I use quality ingredients, I might be able to get away with something. It means I can get a better uh, better run out of it. You know what I'm saying? Might get more focus out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. You see there's a lot to do. So we're going to start here. Prep station. We're going to prep. And it's all timing thing. It's like little mini games. I like this. Okay, one done. Go right back in, do another one before you have to flip. Some of these are quicker than others, so you gotta pay attention. And sometimes slower. There we go. I think we can do one more before we have to flip. Okay. Ooh. This is good. Okay, we'll keep going since it's nothing going to want us to flip yet. This is great. And that should be all of it. Okay, let's add some ingredients. Let's go over here and get this cooking. We got to get some rice going. It's not asking us to flip yet, so we're still doing pretty good. One more. There we go. And for some reason, I'm not interacting. There we go. Okay, good. Something was in the way. Probably that lamp. I think I need to move it. And we need to add that. And it's going to ask us to flip. We just got to hold this down and let go at just the right moment. And there it is. Spicy crab fried rice. Now, we didn't get the star one. That's okay. So what do we get out of this? Let me see what we got. So this is the dish we got, 400 focus points. So we're doing pretty good. And I just needed a little bit of food so I could get moving on. It is 7.18 p.m. And I am now going to, and you see I have my, I have my tower of uh, chests that I found along the way. Those are empty. We're going to take this rather than into the main village. Actually, it's early enough. Let's go to the main village. I don't have all this property yet. I can acquire it all by get, getting things from the city hall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go around my property here. We're going to go out the main gate. I could have went out the back. Brings me into a different region. But I want to show you the city real quick. The town, the village, I don't know what you want to call it. That there that you're seeing in the screen is a part of the village. It's the farm area. Um, so we can talk to the owner over there. We can get recipes from him, new, new crops, things like that as, as we level up. And there's so much to do here. There's puzzle solving. There's all kinds of neat things. And as you can see, there are other people here. This is a multiplayer game. And you can interact with these people. So this is the town. I have a glider, just like in a famous game that you're very familiar with. You have social interaction with the people that play the game, as well as the NPCs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here real quick because, you see, we even have robot companions that are out there. I'm going to talk to 
this lady over here that I've been romancing in the game. So I can flirt with her. So did you come to talk or just stare? Because I'm good with either. <laughs> Don't tell Kaleri, but I snuck a true crime mag into the pages of my History of the Paleon Grand Council book. Oh, she's bad. If anything happened to you, now, the thing is, is that I've already given her gifts, so I can't give her another gift. And I can't ask about what she wants, because I already know. So what I need to give her is, if I go to my romance section, and you see I have her down here. I need to give her a cutthroat trout, which I've got in my inventory. But I can't give it to her until the same time tomorrow, real time. So I've got to wait, unfortunately. So, we'll see how that goes. What are you going to do? Alright, and this is City Hall on the left. Uh, that was the library. This is the furniture shop that you can buy stuff at. There's usually a woman here named Tish that you can talk to and get also get recipes. And yes, you can make your own furniture. This is... Uh, what's his name? Shop. I can't think of his name now. But he carries all kinds of odds and ends that you can purchase. You get a box of chocolates when you want to uh, romance with somebody. But you get some seeds here as well. And I've got all these seeds, and I can now make my own. So that's really good. Um, and if there's stuff you're missing, like wild garlic, yeah, unfortunately I do need a couple of those. Yeah, and some spice sprouts, I'll need a few of those. I've been looking for them, but I'm having trouble finding them lately. And you notice I was almost out of soy sauce. That was it. There we go. And it costs money. Everything in here costs money. You can get your spicy pepper seeds here. So, got about 10,000. We're doing pretty good. What time is it? 8.30, according to the real clock. You have the tailor over there in that shop. This is the inn. You will get to know this very well, because the innkeeper is the first person you'll ever talk to, Ashura. And he carries things as well, so you can talk to him. Uh, grab a seat by the hearth. You can chat with each one of the characters, which builds up your friendship with them. Many years ago, I vowed never to pick up a blade again, and I would advise you think long and hard before you pick up one yourself. Violence once done cannot be undone. Wise words of wisdom. You can also go to a store and you get recipes for different things. I don't need that for some reason. Oh, I can buy a flow infused plank if I want. That's what it was. But I'm making my own and I've got tons of them, so I'm good. And there's other things you can get too if you're running low, like the heat route I was running low on, things like that. And I'm slowly building up what's called skill medals as time goes by. So it's been very interesting. <clears throat> very interesting game. Acorns, pine cones, Samara. Um, I'm not so much those, but I love these trees. I'm actually going to get one of those just because I want to. I love those trees. They're the prettiest ones here. And you can also go to find out what kind of gifts he wants. And gift him with things. So, <clears throat> very nice stuff. This fellow over here is, is Kenley. He's the mayor. Uh, there's a kid that sits behind the counter over here, uh, Reth, I think his name is, who also gives you cooking recipes. Um, she is the um, armorer, if you will. She works with the, She's a blacksmith, is what she is. And you get recipes from her as well. So you can chat with her. And there's, there's a story behind everything. Which do you think I should try? Arrows for Hussein. Hussein so never loses an arrow. I'll give him something he'd actually use. There we go. Oh, good. I didn't even know that that was going to be a good idea. <clears throat> so, and you can go into the register here and you can purchase foods or you can purchase recipes for foods. So there's his foods, Reth's foods that he makes, but you can also get a recipe for steamed fish, pan fried dumplings, and you'll see they have, it gives you the focus that they have on there too. I don't want a hundred focus, but the 250, the pan fried dumplings, yeah, that could be worth it to me. 175, 275, that's a pretty good one. Um, 475. Wow, that's pretty good. So I might do that. I might come back and get that one of these days. I haven't decided yet. So, let's go ahead and continue. I do want to put these things elsewhere. Let me just get them out of my main inventory and put them into a different portion of my inventory so I'm not messing with them. So you have the blacksmith shop over here, and again, that's City Hall. Now I'm going to take it out of here... Here's Kenyatta. She's heading home right now. Um, it is 9.48. And before I talk to the fishermen, 
which is a robot, by the way, that apparently humans developed ages ago. Uh, let's go talk to him real quick, and then we're going to head over into the other area, Bahari Bay, which is where a lot of the community spends their time going for different things. So, if he's he up there still, he is. Okay. So, I'll talk to him. I'll get this thing done. Today is a good day. Many felicitations on your recent fishing skill advancement. To celebrate, I've made a new recipe available for your perusal. Why are you still standing here wishing to converse? I would have hoped you'd be perusing at this current moment in time. <laughs> so I can get a fine rod now for 1500 And I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. It's a recipe, and I can go ahead and upgrade my own rod. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. Uh, there's also this. It costs 1000 gold. It's a recipe to make fisherman's brew, which it's basically makes your fishing safe zone bigger. I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'll worry about that another time. Okay. So let's go ahead and head up to the north to Bahari Bay and check it out. And I'm going to wait a little bit before I eat any more food. Now there are deer here. They call Sarnak, I think. And these little guys, which are... Uh, They're more of a nuisance. They apparently are not native to the area, and they came here. So taking them out is always appreciated, even though they're cute as crap. Uh, let me see which way I'm supposed to go here. I'm going up to the top of a hill by accident. Ah, that's where I'm headed. Okay, good. Got to get there soon, because it's 1030. I want to get there before midnight, because something happens at midnight with the community. There's a um, event that occurs at midnight, lasts for until morning. And several trees become flow-infused. Flow is a type of magic, if you will. And it allows you to get trees that have a special quality to them. And all you have to do is hit one tree. Just hit them once, and you will get the product once everybody knocks down the trees. <clears throat> so it's really a nice community thing to get together to do. Okay, we're back. Sorry, Mike. Voice is starting to go. All right. So here we are. We're in Bahari Bay. These are the trees that I like so much, and that's the seed I got. So I'm going to head this way. I'm going to go through the, the big, huge wall over here, over to the other side. That's where the, usually the flow infusion happens. Usually. So i got to be careful. You can climb walls and everything like that. So you can climb these mountains. But anything that has a smooth surface like those walls, you can't climb. Those, when they have, they jut out like that, you can't get to the top of those either. But you can climb all the way to the top of these if you wish. So I'm going to go all the way up here because I want to climb up. There we go. Let the stamina bar, I guess we'll call it, get up to the top. Ooh, it's going to be close. Because if you don't make it... Ah, I didn't make it. Oh, oh. There we go. We're good. We got lucky. Now I can just... Go this way. Almost fell. Alright. Let's go ahead and cross. And this is a beautiful beautiful area. Everything in this game is very, very pretty. Now, I like calm games like that. I don't always like to play a game where I'm in constant, you know, fear of my life. No Man's Sky is a great game to play that I can play however I wish. So, all right, we're at 1130 right now. Now, if it happens, it's, it can happen over here. So I'm going to hang out right here for the next 26 minutes game time. As you can see, it goes a lot quicker here than anywhere else. You can go up pretty high on that uh, lighthouse, but you can't go to the top. I haven't figured that out yet. There might be a trick to it, and I haven't figured it out yet. So, it is what it is. So, things have changed a little bit since I've played. They've really smoothed out a lot of the kinks and stuff like that in the game. Now, I'm going to get out one of my tools. In this case, I'm going to get out my axe. That's the one I'm going to need the most of. And you're going to hear a weird sound come through at midnight. So in 12 minutes time, we'll see what that sound is.
There we go. Okay, here we go. Five more minutes. Okay. And you see the chat at the bottom left. They're telling us where certain things are. Hear that sound? Now, if I had my headphones on, I could have told you where it came from. But I don't think it's over here. You're going to see like a purple swirl someplace. So let's go to the other side. And see if we can find it. The community as a whole, most of the people that play are very, very caring and sharing. Alright, so that's where the pallium that they just said is a special type of metal here. We're looking for a purple swirl in the sky. There's probably another pallium over there. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's very pretty. That's a Sarnak. Just like any other deer. And from a distance, if you look, you might see a tree that's a little bit purplish. The swirl is kind of hard to find sometimes. And I don't see it from here over here. Oh, there's the Pallium. I'll go ahead and grab that while we're here. Let's switch to this tool. Well, that was a little bit of a graphic glitch. There we go. So I got... Oh, it's five ore. That's pretty good. Okay. Now you're going to see some chat pop up any time now. People are going to be asking, hey, has anyone seen the grove yet? I don't think that's it over there. That's probably more pallium. Yeah, that's pallium. <laughs> There's at least... Whoop. That wasn't what I thought it was. Come on, up you go. Might as well get it while I'm thinking of it. What, what, what? What did that say? Near pal. Wait, that's not where the grove is. Okay. So no one's found the grove yet, which is odd because it's already one o'clock. And usually someone's found it by now. It might be on the side that we were just at. So I'm going to let this video go a little bit longer. Hopefully we could find it. Grove not at Pavel or Pulse. It's got to be on the other side. Because I think we would have seen it by now. Oop. Hate when that happens. Alright, I'm going to have to go to the other side. Oh, found it. Where is this? Let's check the map real quick. make it up to the top. Ah! <laughs> See what I mean? Stop it. Come 
on, get up there. There we go. There we go. And all you have to do is hit these once. You see, they heal themselves, so you need extra people to help you out. So that's three. Let's see what else we got. There should be a fourth over here. Yep. And there's usually more down below. So four, all total, or more? Up. Let's go up. That was weird. No? Interesting. So just four. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. Right. So one. Try it again. Let's count. Two. Okay. Three. All right. Four. You see all the people that are communicating. And then five over here. There we go. All right. We're all set. That means even if they chop them down, I'll get a share of loot anyway. So. You can have pets in this game. I have one. I decided to get rid of it. It doesn't do anything but follow you around. That's it. All right, how many other people coming? Let's see, Cecilia. Is the last one it looks like. And that's Gallia. There's Cecilia, okay. Requires multiple people to help. Yeah, we had it. Three. Okay, looks like they're all down. One, two, three. Whoops. There we go. Uh, four, and then last batch, five. See, look at that. And you see how nice the community is. Now, sometimes you get some people that get a little bit, you know, testy. But you don't have to play with those kind of people. So, and there's plenty to do here. There is more gathering. There is fishing. You can do anything you want wandering around this place. Uh, there's exploring to do. Like I said, there's puzzles. And there are shrines to check out. And to solve. And things like that. I'm heading to the water right now to just check something out. And I'll give it another few more minutes to show you what else there is to do. So you can pick plants, as you can see, some of them are glowing. Um, some of the water you can go through, some you can't, so just be careful. Even if there's water you can't go through, it'll just pop you right back out of the shore. So I'm picking up some stuff while I'm here. An unopened oyster, which yes, you can get pearls out of. I'm looking for shells. And See, you can capture those guys too if you want. There's another one over there. I'll show you how that works, and we'll just use one of these. You throw a sneaky snow bomb at them, and then you just pick them up. And you see, I got a Bahari crab out of it. No big deal. So, pretty neat. Ah, that's the shells I need. I need a bunch more of those. So, I'll take a wander around through here and check them out. That indicates a good fishing spot right now, a boost to fishing. So you can do your fishing there and catch special fish depending upon the lure you use, the fishing rod, uh, the time of day, things like that. So let's go through here real quick. 
Now, this the premise behind this is that humans disappeared for ages. They just vanished on their own, and now they're slowly, suddenly, slowly and suddenly starting to appear. This is a random thing that pops up in different places once a day. You get special loot from it. Today, I got 10 heartwood, so I got a lame, lame one. But it does give you good stuff, like occasionally it gives you recipes to things. So it's good to, to check it out. All right, got some more oysters here. Anything that's glowing is what you can pick up. I, again, I am looking for shells, but the oysters are still nice. See, my foraging level just went up. I can get coral. That is a transport device that you can use to get up to somewhere higher up. Oh, there's a shell. I need more shells. Oh, I can think I missed one over there. Let me see what that is. There we go. <laughs> Our world. <laughs> Funny people. And there's just so many people here that you can spend time with. You want to do it on your own. That's fine. You're creative. You can build your house. You can add to your house. You can add stuff to your house. You can put furniture in your house. Lighting. You can do so many different things. And it is such a fun and relaxful game to play and enjoy on your own. Without anybody bothering you. So, you can do things to your heart's content. I'm going to try to find myself just a few more shells, and we're going to head back to the the old homestead there. Another shell. you got to look for the glows. Occasionally the glows don't show, but most of the time they do. And I'll show you what happens when you walk out too deep into the water, too, just because. So again, this is something I'm playing on my own, on the side, on my own time, but wondering if anybody's interested in seeing it. So, I guess I'll come back. This is what happens when you go out into water too deep. See? They just put you back on the shore. That's it. Really enjoy this. It's been a great game. And you have different places you can go. Again, you can go to shrines and you can do different puzzles and things like that. There is a shrine over here that I can show you. Oh, something in the ground over there. Let's go pick that up real quick. And it's getting kind of late here, so I'm going to have to wrap it up. Ah, good. A shell and another shell. Excellent. I think that's all I need, finally. But I want to grab one more just in case. Okay, good deal. Uh, let's see. Do we want to climb the Cliffs of Insanity here? Yeah, this looks good. We can climb right here. Or Up we go. See, this is one of the shrines I was talking about. Oops, sorry. Startled all the wildlife coming up here. Ooh, they got these shrooms over here. These are hard to come by sometimes, so I'll grab them while I can. And I'll just show you this real quick. You get to go into the ruins, and then you can look around for stuff while you're in here. So, alright, just two more minutes, and then we're going to call it quits. There it goes. And as you can see, you go into this place, you figure out some of the puzzles, and you can go places. And here I'm in the Flowstone Gates to show you what this one looks like. I've been here a couple times already. And that's what this looks like. And you have to travel to these different areas and solve puzzles at every single one of them. So, pretty cool. And the different people that help you out. So, it's pretty. it's a pretty neat thing to do. I do enjoy this. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back, shall we? Wrong button. So I'd go here, and you can use this once every half hour and return to your own housing plot, or you have to go there by foot. And you can use some of the map systems in this game, too. There's certain maps you can find placed in different places, and it will take you and quick travel you to different areas that you can go to, including your house. So, and we're home. And if we sold anything... By 6 a.m. and 12 more minutes, we're going to get some money, and that'll be good. And if I get some stuff in here, like I don't need this wood right now. Uh, let's see, is there anything I don't need? Nah, not really. I can use all the rest of the stuff, so I'll just go ahead and put that in there. And 
in five more minutes, it'll tell me I've got some money. And I'm just going to put these away real quick. I'll get that back later. There it is. I didn't make much, but it was, it's just to show you what it looks like. All right, and then if you go in here, when this disappears, I'll show you. It's the only thing they have a little bit of a problem with. You can open these. See? Open. And you get oyster meat, of course, right? But every now and then, maybe I'll get lucky here. Hold on. No, maybe not. Ah! I got special oyster meat. But occasionally you'll get pearls as well. And I love to put these in my inventory. Because you can use them to cook with. And there we go. And that's it. And it looks like I got a letter, which is probably from Zeki, because I'm picking stuff up. He gives me a coin when I purchase stuff from his shop. Okay, good deal. And that's it. And as you can see, I can make worms. I can make uh, seeds over here. Uh, I can create furniture, repair all of my equipment. I can make different pieces of furniture and stuff like that. I can make new arrows. Uh, fishing lures, things like that. There are so many different things you can do, and then you can decorate your own home any way you wish, as you can see. I haven't really decorated this room out yet. I got these guys creepily standing around a sapphire, but that's not important. So that's what we got, and I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen so far. Again, comment section, Twitch, keep it on YouTube, just do a video once in a while. Should we live stream it? Which one? What do you think? Just want your opinion. I don't expect a lot of comments from a lot of people. Some people might probably won't even watch this video. But if you did and you liked what you saw, at least give me the like. It helps the uh, helps the algorithm, if you will, uh, for that. And if you like what you've seen on the, all of my other videos, including this one, hit the subscribe. Thank you very much, folks, and we'll see you again another time. Take care, everybody.